Nigerian sports wins are going to win. Nigerian sports wins are going to win. And I'm happy to talk about something. Now, this news is breaking news. Nigerian schools from 2025 will now teach kids kids such as building and construction, plumbing and tiling. So, so, hold on, you guys. Uh, hold on. Federal government of Nigeria just robbed. Uh, they just robbed very dark man of his hard end and at, at the time i'm making this video the money has gotten to 200 and something million naira that is about 200 thousand dollars hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this one i hope you all are doing amazing and i want to believe that you have seen my previous video i don't know which one comes first however i have made a video about something why i keep talking about the happenings in my country and it has sent a wrong signal to some people but those who understands the true meaning of patriotism understands my videos and who understands and value truth understands my videos so but then i don't expect everyone to be blessed with such intellectual blessings the ability to know something from you know i don't expect everyone to be that blessed by just understanding things even when i don't explain all okay and i've said okay there are good people in nigeria and that is why nigeria is still there and some of us are still going back home and people are still living there we have our families still living because of the people i want to celebrate in this video and as the saying will go usually i should have started with uh, ladies first right who is making a difference okay i want to celebrate the positivity in nigeria i will say laid down because where they are now you know what it means in nigeria i am living in ghana and creating my content creating awareness and speaking up about the ill things that are happening in my, in my country to an extent i'm a lot safer than them they live in nigeria but they are doing all this so i want to celebrate them today and where do i start from where do i start from they have i have a lot of them in the building i wanted to start with a gen z but change my mind yeah let's celebrate with you kennedy the minister for women affairs let's start with her women affairs to organize anything that i'm not aware of you try it next time i will come here and i get you people disgraced sorry about this sirs mas forgive me i know what i am going to in this country for a while this is all we keep on organizing and few weeks ago there was hunger protest and they talk about peace and security women are not empowered children are suffering nigerians are suffering but we waste money all the time in frivolous things that don't make sense i am sorry many people may misunderstand me but i am ready to be misunderstood i am ready to be tortured I am ready. I don't want to break down here. This is it. I have changed the narratives. I said no program without empowerment. The women, you're talking about peace and security. With poverty, how, how can you solve it? You keep talking, you're doing workshop, you're doing this, you're doing that. With poverty, where are we heading to? And how do we solve that poverty? By directing money to the wrong channels and don't make any impact on the humans. On those people, you want them to change and give you peace. And I've changed narratives. I said that don't do any program without empowerment. Okay, this was a video of her that made her a hero, in my own opinion. See, <laughs> how do I explain it? This woman, you see, the risk here, apart from she fighting corruption and wanting to change the narratives. Hmm? the danger in it is not even that alone the danger in it is the fact that she's a woman but she's pulling this off fearlessly and i know it's only a matter of time you know they'll come there they are planning her we know all these things but then before that time and i pray that god will protect her that's not all let's display another of uju kennedy's video I will find them tight. It is they that will run. Not me, but it's the truth. I will not go. I 
could do. Imagine a small girl like this being by myself and my third man with her younger sister, three years old. Why is it done? Three years old and this girl, eight years plus. I will teach this man a lesson. When I finish with him, I'll bring it out to Nigeria. Bring him out to Nigeria. Nigeria will finish with the main one. Yes. Because now Nigeria, you know that you well. Thank you. We there for you. Something happens. You push it to me. And when I come out to fight, you join me. Even if you don't come physically. But you're using media. You're still doing me and Nigerian women and children. I thank you very well, Nigerians. Madam, this morning I'm going to read you. I think Jesus, I want me to know you. This morning I'm giving you is I promise my daughter, quote, with she, it's not much money. Go and do it for her. But it cannot be on that day again. And now let, let me explain that okay that little girl you just saw in the video was our ape by an adult she and her little sister three years old sister was our ape so uju went all out and she have vowed to deal with that man a believer and she said when she's done with him she'll push him out here on social media me i will sit down here other nigerians will all drag him will drag him until his boxer will tear that's if the police don't do their job by keeping this man behind bars so i celebrate uju kennedy the minister for women affairs now let's move to a gen z even pastor self they celebrate them let's watch this this is funny <laughs> This is funny. In Nigeria, how many of you have had a very dark man? How many of you have had a very dark man? Huh? Mm -hmm. He is not your typical religious person, Abi. Uh, he does not speak in tongues, he does not kabash. But what God has used him to do in Nigeria, even GOs. And powerful prophets in Nigeria. They have not done it. Now the fear of very dark man is the beginning of wisdom. God has used him to bring justice to people. There were people who took money from others to do something they didn't need and they refused to give them their money until such victims went to very dark man. A very dark man took up the case. But you will never see him as a prophet, and he doesn't care. For you, a prophet is a person who carries a microphone like me, carries bell. Hey, take it. That is your idea of prophets. Wearing uh, tassels and all of that, prophesying things that don't happen and may never happen, giving testimonies of lion carrying you and flying and dropping you somewhere and all of that. That is your idea of prophets. But when you go to Isaiah 58 of his nine, he said, You fast, you pray. God said, Get out. I don't care about your fasting and prayer. You do marathon fasting. Say, I don't care about all those things. You're just wounding yourself for nothing. You will get ulcer. If you don't have this uh, physical, you have, many of you have spiritual ulcer because of unnecessary fasting. You fast unnecessarily. You have spiritual ulcer if you don't get it. Many have the, both the physical one and the what? And the physical. God said, take away all your fasting. Take away all your religious things. He said, all I want is that you should take care of the need. He said, lose the fetters of injustice. That's all that the Bible says in his days, justice shall flourish. That's one of the um, prophecies and the spirit on the Lord Jesus. I think that's Isaiah 11 when he was mentioning him. Prince of peace, Lord of lords, he shall have this, he shall do this, he shall dispense justice. Praise God. Hallelujah. Without justice, there can never be peace. I keep saying that, okay? People are going about with so much pain in their hearts. I talked about 
in the last in one of the videos i talked about my cousin my first cousin my blood murdered in cold blood on the streets in ogun state in Modadi. we are looking for the body forget that i'm here i cannot go because it's not that simple let's let's check out very dark man okay yeah in case you are wondering why don't you reach out to him we are working on something i don't know if very dark man will be able to help or not nigerian schools wait our government and i'm happy now this news says breaking news nigerian schools from 2025 will now teach kids skills such as building and construction plumbing and tiling hair styling makeup gsm repair satellite and cctv installation and maintenance and garments making among others now this one they post them yesterday this one now after i don't talk this same thing saying now which i won't do for public school federal government now no rush say now nah, the same thing they won't do well i'm happy you understand but let it be known say you now copy me you understand but i'm happy that maybe i motivated you people to do it yes i'm happy that i motivated you people to do it at least our public schools we have all these things which is really important to so we'll be like other countries do you understand nobody to go school go school picking a go play you understand private schools in nigeria their own children could they better pass our own children forget to where they public yes Private school obviously should be better, but at least may we say when we say we come from ghetto, may our children for ghetto too, they get that same vibe where private schools they get. Do you understand? So um I start them, that is why I opened the NGO because I thought about it. I said our public schools are failing. Are they work out for us our ghetto on which day? Yeah, yeah. I see say teacher they inside class, they teach. The children they for playground, they play. Because the teacher is boring. There's nothing for them to do in the public schools anymore. It's boring for them. Do you understand? It's boring for them. And this is why I came up with the idea that we have to do things about our public school. I'm gonna start with picking one first. From there now go move, go the rest. But I will deliver. Do you understand? So currently now, this is what I have in my account. I have 66.4 million naira and I still expect more from you guys. So, so hold on you guys. Hold on. Federal government of Nigeria just robbed. They just robbed very dark man of his hard and ideas. Like them thief on your hand. Hey, but I like it. Let's watch this together. <laughs> All right, um, guys, yesterday I posted that I received 100 million in my account. I did not receive alerts. I did not receive anything. I just saw that the money moved from 70 million era to 170 million era plus. I panicked because um, I didn't expect anybody to just send me 100 million like that. You know, so I felt it was a glitch or that maybe they wanted to set me up. You understand? Because... People were sending 15 naira, 100 naira, 200, 500 and all that. And yes, it's okay for me to panic. Now, let me tell you what's funny. I started calling everybody that I know. Like, How far did you send me money? Did you send me money? You know, I won't call the, I, I don't want to mention name, right? I called all these people. They said, no, they didn't send me money. So I kept on looking for, wait, how did this money come about, you know? Until I got this message. Morning, bro. Just saw your post. Nami send 100 million to support. I believe in what you are doing and trust you to be as transparent as you have always been. We really need that in our country. I wish you all the best with the project and more blessing to you. You know, easy. This is Don Jazzy. It was Don Jazzy that sent 100 million naira. This is the receipt. As you can see, Michael Collins had a hundred million naira once. <laughs> yes, and at, at the time I'm making this video, the money has gotten to two hundred and something million naira. That is about two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars. How did this guy come about to be this powerful? 
just through social media. He started just by being himself. When you are yourself, real people will notice you. Of course, the bad ex will try to, they'll try to silence you and all of that. But he didn't stop. He has been in and out of police custody, in and out of prison, but he's still fighting. And this is why I said Fela is back. This is Fela. Fela recaniation coming back in a Gen Z form to fight for justice for the voiceless of the good people of Nigeria. Anyways, he's not the only one, okay? Um, now, before I forgot, let me show you guys some of the physical impacts that he has made by just using social media to call on the government of Nigeria and they came true. Let's watch this. <laughs> This is a major place in Abuja, Tonye. Yeah. This place, come on. This place is the legislative quarters. If you go like this, this is Buju. Now, this is the main, come on. This is the main junction in Abuja, see, four corner junction, right? Every car that is coming, I have to avoid this place. Put it down, how far across? Every car where they come, they avoid this road because the road they bad. Now, I know say they're busy. With the godfatherism for Port Harcourt, you are busy fighting the election after you already be governor. I don't know what you want is that place to do. Now you are the governor of Abuja. Please come and take hello, hi. Please come and take care of this. This is the major road, and there are a lot of roads that you need to do. Hello, hi. Do you understand? Hi, right, nice to meet you. So, we can, there are a lot of things to do here. Leave them for Port Harcourt first. You don't do flyover at night. But all these roads, see them, they avoid them now. See them. So we can, we'll be expecting you to do this. Thank you as a minister. So that's so small. And a few moments later, I mean like a few days later, this is the result. Let's take a look. Come, come. You remember last week? Before we came out about this road. You understand? I greet you. See ya, show up. We can don't come now. If let's say show the road. How far my bro? Show the road. So bring her now. <laughs> so if like say we can walk out on the road. We can if you do like this now, we'll support you. You understand? We'll support you. We have a lot of roads to do. After this one, I still get more roads to show you. So hopefully they'll finish this one today. Hopefully, they'll finish it today. See that drop. You understand? Hopefully they don't sweep back. Sweep back. Yeah, they're not super. So more they wait. Next one again, what carry we can go show you day. We can if you do like this, if you come out for 2032. I know say so you won't come out for 2032. Now it's in my mind, tell me. You understand? So we'll go support you. Meanwhile, after this one, see this one. This one don't do like this for how many months? Don't do like this for months. You understand? Uh -huh. So come on, come. So more they see whether I don't do this one. We they wait more see the results. This and love. Shout out to VK. Just like that. Honestly speaking, this is one Nigerian with no tribalism in his blood. I lie you not. I want to show you something, a video of him that made me say what I'm saying. All right. So first of all, I feel you say they say they won't arrest me. Now they don't say they won't charge me. Go court. Now a lot of you didn't know I was arrested. Um, that one no really I no really talk about them um, because of um, a publication when I make about this man, Emeka D. Ebu. So before I talk with him happen that day, make I first talk this one. Dear Emeka D. Ebu, I just want you to know. So you know if you be politician for this country as long as I did this Nigeria. If they see your poster anywhere for this country, I will mobilize boys, they will tear them. You see that Anambra state where you want contest for power, you cannot get it there. Now, under this your post, the last party where you contest under was under Abga to represent the Demili North and South Federal constituency in 2023. You cannot be a politician in this country as long as I did here. The only way you can be a politician is when you pay what you owe. So all this talk of saying I won't carry me go courts, Mona carry me go courts. I won't go to a court. 
Now, I also the hear say they say you get connection to DIG, Deputy Inspector General of Police, DIG Alabi in particular. Say, now make you the spread. Number one, I know that is a lie. I know that is a big lie because I know DIG Alabi as somebody of integrity. That's an high caliber man. That's a man that is very respected in the Nigerian police. Of all the DIGs, you see him, see Frank Kumba. I never get the opportunity to meet the rest. But those are the people where we say we know them. Do you understand? So this DIG Alabi now. To show you that this guy is fearless and is a one Nigerian. He believes in Nigeria. No trace of tribalism in him. So before the video gets too long, let's head straight to another hero that is making Nigerians, I mean, a regular Nigerian, proud. So Harrison Guamishu, where are you, Harrison? Step forward, bro. Good evening. Uh, my name is Harrison Guamnishu. I want to talk about something way down the occur. Where I feel say we all need to be careful, you know, because this life not get duplicated. So anybody where don't go, don't go, you know. This is the three times now where this same thing they happen. One na Oni Gadget Fasaba along Asaba Ubulu Road. The other one na Ibuka. We for on the Chawere Road for Nambra State, and this other one and Smith. You know, these things happen for police checkpoints. You know, most of the time, if they drive, the first man for the checkpoint go don't, go don't stop you. You go clear, you say, I go. You go knock hand for your motor, bam, go. That sign means say, you also knock hand for your motor. You don't knock hand for your motor, it means say, they tell you, say, may you go. But most time, they also they front. No go, no say, na go, you say me you go. You say we just zoom off. Now so, all these things they happen. That first one, second one, and now, the third one. You understand? So, I beg. Once that first person tell you say, go. As you go, no zoom off, or wind up. Just, as, just wind down to the crawl. They crawl as you they drive, they come up for there until you leave the last man standing. Until you leave the last man standing. Because this thing is not that we can now observe. To our police, we can't continue like this now. Young people they come out from this our country every day. And it don't make sense. If you know extort from them. You go put them for prison unlawfully, or you go kill them. We no control like this now. We no control like this. Get one guy with them, buy like that too. We come off my abroad. All the years for abroad, we don't labor for. You just came back and like just like that too for checkpoint. That one don't go. Now people born them, now people now born them families. They, they grieve at a book of way on a key for number of states now only picking now only i'm not my map home they can just go like that if it be me today or if it be you tomorrow so let's move the control our anger and also the country things hard everybody they frustrated but making all lead you to the key of fellow human being now yeah they bad he did bad so I bet um, let's take a look at another video of him and how he risked his life for other people when the case of the Ghanaian lady that went missing and still missing in Nigeria came up it was this guy that took up the issue he, he was the one that made it public on social media he followed up and all of that now let's take a look at more videos by Harrison and how he's been going Good afternoon everyone, my name is Harrison Uh If you recall, you will see that the police appeal to the public to remain calm and, and, and not to interfere with the police investigation. All right. Now, when police are investigating a crime uh, such as this, uh, this case of Andrew, they are currently on 
uh, it's important that uh, you don't interfere with the police uh, whatever they are doing because if you do you may likely be called upon to come and give statement and as even assist them in, 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 in whatever they are doing so as a law abiding citizen i have obeyed them and you will see me post about some findings and whatsoever uh, because we are waiting for them to give us uh, no, no, this works. It's slow, you know and um, we wish to uh, appeal to uh, you to you know go to police place too and be tagging them to hasten up their investigation you know and uh, you know uh, drop their their findings at the republic on this school yo so those are the heroes okay nigeria nigerians are lovely people we have a lot of amazing people just that the way we are growing into minding our businesses is what is alarming because as you see we have we have good people just the same way we have bad people you know i expect the good ones to speak up to do something to to help because some families do not have anyone to help to help them when when something goes wrong for any of their child or family members so these are the people so nigeria has incredible people and for me right now for this year 2024 these are the heroes for me we have other nigerians are doing amazing things inventing building hotels winning grammys buying private jets and all of that those is not a bad thing but it's none of my business i'm talking about something that a regular man can benefit i mean people that are standing up for other people so these are my guys of the year and i hope that you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one to do